Hey everybody, it's Ripley here. Today I'm going to show you how to graph the function f of theta equals sine theta. I've got the first quadrant here of our uh, unit circle, and I have the fantastic five points on that just as a refresher. Um, remember that sine of theta is the y values on these points, and then what I have are the corresponding theta values for this. Now, I'm not actually going to do this on the graph paper with the tablet, but I'm going to show you because there's this fantastic applet that we're going to use to be able to do this, which is really cool. All right, so I'm going to jump into this, and here's my applet. Now, up here, just in case you want to go to this thing yourself, is the address, so you can always come and play if you want to. All right, so we're going to do f of theta equals sine of theta. Now, what you're looking at here is the x and y plane, and we're doing sine. Okay. Now, I want you to watch this. This is this one's really cool. This is my point. Notice that I've got a red value for my theta value. I've got a blue value for my x value and a green value for my y value. Recall that sine is y. So in the first quadrant, watch what's going to happen. If I take this thing and I drag it through pi halves, look at what I've carved out. I have carved out these values right here from 0 to pi halves. Notice the red is theta and that corresponds to the distance that we've gone on the x-axis. The y is the green height. It's difficult to see the green in the recording, but that uh, rest assured that the y value here is green. Okay, so in the first quadrant, if I click back over here to my paper, these are the first quadrant values. If I were to throw these y values of these points onto the Cartesian plane or the coordinate axis, what I would get is this curve right here. Remember, this is x and this is f of x. So think of this as theta and f of theta equals sine theta. Now watch what happens. As we roll around, I carve out through 180 degrees, which gives me the top half right here, which makes sense if you think about it because the y values are all positive. Now I want you to notice something. Notice that the biggest that y can get on the unit circle is 1. And that happened back here at pi halves excuse me, that pi halves, it's the biggest y can get. Now, as you, you can probably um, guess, the smallest, the most negative that y can get is negative 1. And look at that. That happens at 3 pi halves. Notice that I am carving this thing out a quadrant at a time. So when I go all the way back around to through the fourth quadrant, I start over because now remember theta equals 2 pi is coterminal with theta equals 0 and we go off to the races yet again see it starts over however the one thing that you've got to really appreciate here is if I put if I'm looking at sine so between 0 and 2 pi we now know that sine does that but remember theta goes to infinity here's f of theta so what's going to happen is this curve is going to keep doing that, and this curve is going to keep doing that. So that is a sine wave. Our home, our mother graph of sine is really from 0 to 2 pi, because this thing then just begins repeating itself every 2 pi. All right, so let's get back to our, let's get back to our curve and show that to you one more time. In the first quadrant, I grab from 0 to 1. In the second quadrant, I go from 1 to 0. In the third quadrant, I go from 0 to negative 1. Again, we're just grabbing y values off of the unit circle. And then in the fourth quadrant, I go from negative 1 back to 0. And then I start over. Now, unfortunately, these um, um, or excuse me, this applet only goes from 0 to 2 pi, but you hopefully now understand that this goes forever and this goes forever. All right, so let's go back real quick to our bamboo paper. And if I think of f of theta equals sine of theta, and I think of my home graph as being that, oops, and that, let's look real quick. We know that the domain of sine of theta, since you give me any theta value, I'll hand you back a sine of theta, excuse me, a sine of theta. That implies that the domain is all reals or from negative infinity 
to positive infinity. And then the range, the biggest that sine of theta can be is 1, and the smallest that sine of theta can be is negative 1, and that's inclusive. So I use brackets from negative 1 to 1. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is f of theta equals sine of theta. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.